Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Electric Viking. Great day today. Just saw the numbers for all the top 20 electric cars globally. This is exciting stuff, and I hope you're ready for it. Global plug-in vehicle registrations were up 60% in March 2022 compared to March of 2021. That's a pretty good increase. There was 851 registrations, according to Clean Technica, the second best month ever. That represented 15% share of the entire global auto market, which means the global automotive market is entering the electric disruption zone, say Clean Technica. Now, to be personally frank, I think that happened a long time ago, but hey, this is a huge number, 11%. Complete electric market share worldwide, 15% for plug-in vehicles and fully electric cars combined. That's crazy. What's even crazier is numbers like this, which I'm sure you've heard if you've been watching the channel. Electric vehicle sales in March were 50% of all cars sold in Shanghai. And there's lots of cities in China where people just don't want combustion engine vehicles. Same goes for Europe. Same goes for, well, many countries around the world. However, if you add the 832,000 plugless hybrids registered in March, we have close to 13% of the overall global market having some form of electrification last month. Very interestingly, though, Clean Technica points out that plugless hybrids only grew by 1% versus the same month last year. In other words, they're not growing at all. In March, electric vehicles increase of 81% year over year, grew faster than plug-in hybrids, which increased by 19% year over year. However, plug-in hybrids in Europe, yeah, people don't really want them. Same deal in China. Their sales dropped. Year to date, plug-in share rose to 11% of those, while about 90% are electric, as in fully electric cars. So Tesla takes first and second place. Looking at the monthly bestseller table, the Model Y won the title again. It's third month in a row. However, this is the first time that the Model Y has beaten the Model 3 for an entire quarter. And obviously, we're not going to look back. Model 3 will never again win, never again take this record. Model Y will permanently hold this record for its foreseeable existence. Model Y deliveries in March of 2022 were 92,000. Model 3, 81,700. The Wuling Hongwan Mini EV, 47,563. The BYD Song Pro, 22,000. The BYD Chin Plus, 14,000. Cherry QQ Ice Cream, which by the way is a direct competitor to the Wuling Hongwan Mini, very similar car, very similar specifications, 11,700. The Li One Plug in Hybrid, 11,000. The Volkswagen ID4, a pretty abysmal and disappointing 10,000. The Hyundai Ioniq 5, 10,800. The Chang'an Benny EV, 10,728. The BYD Dolphin, 10,514. Now, by the way, in April, BYD Dolphin deliveries increased to 14,000. And well, as you can see in this list, the majority of the rest of the vehicles here are Chinese. In fact, hang on a minute. Ah. More than 90% of these vehicles are either, hold on, Chinese or built in China. In fact, the only one that isn't built in China is the Ionic 5. Every other vehicle in this list has at least some of its production, if not all of it, in China. Now, hopefully that changes over the next few years. We certainly don't want all of our automotive industry to go to China because that's uh, trillions of dollars. We need to keep some of that in the rest of the world. Two trends have emerged, as noted by Jose Pontes. First, Model Y deliveries continued to surge, having reached 92,200 in March, which is a new all-time record for an EV for one month. That's pretty cool. No one's talking about that, right? Second, Model 3 sales have been flattening, proven by the fact that the midsize's deliveries in the first quarter of 2022 were only up by 1% compared to the same period last year. However, contrary to what the author of this article has claimed elsewhere, Model 3 sales are not flatlining due to popularity. It's very, very obvious the proof of this because the delays for that vehicle are many months long. 
when I'm talking here in Australia, one year now. One year. Yeah, the same scenario is evident in many other countries, right? You've got to wait longer than ever to get a Model 3. Clearly, Tesla is just not prioritizing increasing production of the Model 3 versus what it is with the Model Y. The Whirling Mini EV took third spot on the podium, followed by two BYDs. In addition, Mini and Micro EVs in China are massively increasing in popularity. For example, the Chang'an Benny EV did extremely well. It's a Toyota Yaris-like model, and it got 10,728 reservations. Another interesting thing to note here, in the second best month ever for the electric vehicle market, record scores were all over the place. For example, nine out of the top 20 bestsellers achieved a record month. We're going to see the same thing happen month after month after month for the rest of this year. You can imagine what kind of deliveries we're going to see by the end of the year, by November, December. It's going to be absolutely off the hook. It's going to be insane. It's exciting to see. Honestly, this has me pretty stoked. The other thing is that this is really ring the alarm bells for the, some of these legacy automotive manufacturers who are still dragging their feet, to be fair. Still kind of giving a bit of lip service to EVs, not really going all in. I mean, if BYD can increase their electric vehicle deliveries by a factor of 300% in a year, why can't others? I mean, really, there's a bit of lip service going on, you have to admit. So let's have a look at the winners so far for the entire year. January to March, Tesla Model Y, first place with 170,000. Tesla Model 3, second place, 127,000. Well, almost 128. Let's just go with 128,000. Wuling Hong Wan Mini EV, 100,360. BYD Song, 57,860. BYD Chin Plus, 47,000. And the Li Wan, 32,000. Next, BYD Dolphin, 29,672. Volkswagen ID4, 29,444. And interesting that that's the only legacy auto manufacturer here in the top 11, right? Top 11 best selling electric vehicles on the face of planet Earth. Only one of them is made by Legacy Auto. And they're sitting in 11th place worldwide. This disruption is insane. It's happening right here. People are still ignoring it. Investors are still ignoring it. People are pretending it isn't happening, but it is. However, in the year-to-date table, Tesla Model 3 came second. However, their 6.4% share of the entire market is now quite a bit lower than the 11% that the Model 3 had a year ago before the Tesla Model Y had ramped up. Clearly, Tesla's growth is primarily happening now through Model Y. That, though, may change a little bit as we're going to see ramp up to some degree in China of Model 3s. So that leads us to the final award, the best-selling manufacturers by brand in March of 2022. First place was Tesla with 180,253 deliveries. Second was BYD with 105,000 deliveries. Third was SGMW with 52,000. Fourth, BMW with 30,000, though that does include plug-in hybrids. And then fifth with 28,000 Volkswagen. Remember though, that includes plug-in hybrids and full electric vehicles. Without those in the tally, the chart would be much different. So who are the top three from January to March of this year? Number one, Tesla, 310,000 deliveries. Number two, BYD, 286,000 deliveries. By the way, that does include plug-in hybrids. And number three, SGMW, with 115,000 deliveries. If we're talking EV only, Tesla took out first place, and in second place was BYD, who overtook Volkswagen for the first time in history. Now, technically, the reality is that SAIC, Chinese company SAIC, actually did deliver more electric vehicles than BYD. The figure was 154,623. But to be fair, every single one of those EV deliveries was part of a joint venture. Many of those joint ventures in which they don't even own more than 40% of that venture. So I don't think it's really fair to make a claim of sales of a vehicle in whole if you only own a very well, less than 50% even of the sale of that vehicle. So I'm going to put SAIC down into third place. Then we have 
Volkswagen Group with 98,455 deliveries and Hyundai Kia, who are actually catching up to Volkswagen with 81,744. You know what? It's possible Volkswagen could drop the fifth place by the middle of this year or the end of the second quarter, which would be kind of alarming for the company who everyone was saying would be the best place legacy automaker when it comes to EVs. Maybe they won't. Who knows? Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Where do you think Volkswagen will be? Will Hyundai and Kia overtake them? Could happen. No matter what happens though, it's very clear that Tesla and BYD have an unassailable lead based on their production numbers this year, their likely production this year, the number of factories they're building, the battery factories they're building in the case of BYD. They'll have 13 battery factories very soon. 421 gigawatt hours of battery production per year within a couple of years. I mean, that's pretty scary. And that's something that Volkswagen couldn't possibly ever hope to compete with. So as you see, the market is totally changing. And I think it's playing out more or less as I thought it would and as you guys probably thought it would as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.